Well, when I came in, uh, I came in 1956. Uh, I guess it was the first time. It, I, no, it was the first time I was away from home when I was going to be here. I landed in Toronto, 7:30 in the morning. Got off the train. This guy walked by, and I said, "I know that guy. I know who he is." And I got up here, and uh, I took a cab up. Uh, got here, walked in, and a bell went off. And it was the first change of class. And I was just, I almost turned around and went back out the door because it was just overwhelming. And as, you know, they get, everybody got in their own classes and I looked up and this guy that I had seen, and I knew it was Frank Mahovlich, he came in and we went into the office. And he said, I want to see Father Crowley. Because Father Crowley was the manager and he, he ran the hockey program, the, the junior, the A program. So I said, I'd like to see Father Crowley too. So uh, we went down the hall. Frank knocked on the door. Father Crowley came and said, Frank, you look great. You have a great summer. He said, this is Dave Keon. He said, you're late. Now find your class. So I was just, now I was going out the door. Coming to St. Mike's was, uh, in our family, there was no other choice. My mother had made the decision. But it goes back to... Uh, in the 50s and the 60s, there were uh, the, the six NHL teams had farm systems. And uh, if they saw somebody who they thought could be a, a potential professional player, they, uh, they tried to sponsor him or they tried to, in Toronto's case, it was either the Marlies or St. Mike's. And uh, in, in my particular case, uh, we were Catholic and it was a, it was a private boys school run by Bazillions and it was the only place that my mother was going to let me go. So that is how I uh, ended up at St. Michael's. And, uh, but it, it was a um, great tool for the Toronto Maple Leafs because any Catholic boys that they were trying to uh, recruit, uh, the parents were usually, uh, I won't say they were swayed, but if you mentioned they could go to St. Mike's and they could live in residence and uh, be taught by the Bazillions, uh, that, that was usually the, uh, the selling point that, that put it over the top. And in my particular case, that's what it was. Oh, Father Barber was more than just hockey. I mean, I think everybody knows his association with the game and what he, what he did here at the school and what he did with, with Team Canada. But he was more interested in the, the well-rounded person. Uh, he was interested in what you read and what you did. And uh, he was always pushing you to expand your horizons, not just to be uh, one-dimensional, so to speak. In, you know, in my particular case, you know, I wanted to be a hockey player, but to, to you know, read a book and uh, try and expand my mind. And uh, he, he did that with, with everybody that he came in, in contact with. He was trying to uh, improve uh, everybody's life. Well, Father Zinger, let me tell you. He was a Mr. Zinger when I first met him. Uh, he had just come here. And his great claim to fame, I don't care what he said, is he beat me in a 50-yard dash. And he never let me forget it. And he had his classic on too when he was running. He said he would have beat me a lot more. But I said that I wasn't ready to run. And, uh, but he would never take that as, a, uh, as, an, as an answer. Uh, after he became Father Zinger, I was gone. And my mother and my sisters moved to 21 Tychester, which is uh, just around the corner here. So I would uh, come to the school and I would see him and we became, uh, you know, we became very good friends. Who are my heroes? Oh, my mom, my, my mother and father, certainly. Uh, they, were, they were heroes to me. And I think that, you know, uh, after them, it would be, uh, you know, the things that influenced my life were my, my parents. And uh, then I would say, you know, being here for four years. After I left, uh, after I left school, after I left St. Michael's, I went, uh, I turned pro and I played for the Leafs. I went to the Leafs in 1960, 61, and I played for them till 1974, 75. And we had uh, uh, some success, 
but not as much as I would have liked. Well, the St. Mike's guys always, uh, there were, let's see, there was Timmy, Tim Horton, Red Kelly, uh, Dick Duff, Frank Mahovlich, and myself. So there were five guys who had gone to St. Mike's. Now I'm trying to think of who else. We might have had somebody else there. Uh, I think Larry Keenan came for a little while. Les Kozak came for a little while. But they, uh, you know, the... <laughs> When we played junior, we played against the Marlies, and there, there was never any love lost between Marlies and St. Mike's. So the St. Mike's guys kind of gravitated towards each other, and the Marley guys gravitated towards each other. So even though we were teammates, there was still that uh, banter about playing junior against each other. And, uh, uh, but uh, no, the St. Mike's guys were always, and they were all really good to me. You know, people have come and talked to me over the over the years and said that I had an impact on on them. Uh, it was, you know, was not something that I ever thought of. It was just the way I was brought up, I think, and um, spending time uh, or finally understanding what Father Bauer was. It took him through almost three years to pound it in my head about this idea of how the game should be played. And um, I guess when I finally realized that, uh, and I know over the year after I was through school and before I was going to training camp, I had to make, I had to make a decision on what I was going to do to give myself the best chance to make the Leafs. And he had preached about certain things about how you play and what you do. And I, and I thought about it all summer. And then when I went to training camp, uh, I tried to put it into action. And it, uh, I was a good enough skater that I could do the things that he wanted me to do. It wasn't, it was just doing, it was just being um, disciplined enough to do it. That, that's what it was. And after that, it just got to be second nature. I, I just, I never even thought about it. I just did it. And that's how I played. Well, I've always thought that the motto of the school, good, teach me goodness, discipline, and knowledge, if, you know, if everybody who, who, who's graduated school or even came for a year, if you live by that, I mean, you're going to have a pretty good life. And I think you're going to have a chance to influence people just by how you uh, carry on your everyday activities. To be inducted in the Order of St. Michael, uh, that's not something I thought would happen to me.